WWE Hell in a Cell is live in the Sunday on the WWE Network. So it's time for my predictions. Let's get right to it. First match I have listed is the WWE Tag Team Championship match. Gold and Stardust defending against the Usos. Now, I guess I am still looking forward to this match. I mean, these two teams always deliver. Even though we still haven't really quite developed the tag team division as well as I've hoped. But I guess the only reason why I'm a little, I guess, not excited for this match is because I just got done watching Main Event. And the first segment was uh, Who Knows Their Brother the Best game show that they did with the Usos and Golden Stardust. And man, that was hard to watch. I mean, I'll give JBL, who was the host, credit. And towards the end, it got a little bit more entertaining, but that is not the way that you hype a tag title match. My prediction, Golden Stardust to retain. Brie Bella versus Nikki Bella. I guess the stipulation is whoever loses becomes the other's bitch or personal assistant, whichever sounds more PC. I'm going to pick... I guess Nikki Bella, because it would make more sense to have Brie be forced to do whatever she has to do for a month. So then that will continue this feud even longer. Another women's match, Divas Championship match, AJ versus Paige. I like the fact that these two are fighting again. Because honestly, who else are you going to have AJ fight that's going to give a better match than this? I'd like to see maybe Emma step up and get a title shot, but that's probably... Not going to happen anytime soon. I say AJ retains. Big Show versus Rusev. I'm going to say Rusev wins. I've seen some people, some other people predict that Big Show's going to win, but not by pinfall or submission. And I thought to myself, well, you've already done that twice with the Big Show. So to do that on a pay-per-view, again, sounds even more lame than it should. Now, for some reason, this match isn't happening on the pay-per-view, at least as of right now. It's scheduled to happen on SmackDown. Intercontinental Championship match, Dolph Ziggler versus Cesaro. Why isn't this on the pay-per-view? These guys would tear the house down. They would steal the show. It would be one of the best matches of the night. But no. We get two Divas matches, though. But not this match. Well, if we're just talking about SmackDown, I'm going to say... Dolph retains, because as much as I want, and as much as Cesaro should win, for some reason, they're almost purposely making sure he doesn't win a title. The U.S. title is being defended on the pay-per-view, though. We have Sheamus defending against The Miz. I say Sheamus retains, because even though he hardly ever defends the belt, for some reason, they're keeping the belt on him. So there you go. Hell in a Cell match. The winner gets a title shot against Brock Lesnar. I don't know if that's just whenever Brock happens to show back up, or if that means he'll be defending the title at Survivor Series. I hope it's the latter. But it's John Cena versus Randy Orton, and holy fuck. I... I can't do it. I can't sit through these two having another match. And I know you've probably heard me complain about this before. I sound like a broken record. The thing that annoys me the most about this is that not only is it a pay-per-view that we're seeing these two fight, which the last pay-per-view match these two have had, one-on-one, -on -one, was the Royal Rumble, where the crowd shitted all over it. So whose idea was it to think it was a good idea to do this match on pay-per-view again? I, for one, hope that the audience shits on this match. Not even because I hate Orton and Cena, because I don't hate them. It's just... They can't always be paired together. We can't always take the easy route and put these two guys together. They're not Rock and Austin as much as the WWE currently would want us to think so. It's not that big of a deal to have these two fight each other because it's happened so many times. In fact, they've already had a Hell in a Cell match against each other a few years ago. So, so much for Hell in a Cell being the blow-off to a feud because we're doing it again. I would love, more than anything, for Randy Orton to win this match. It's not against Cena, it's not because of Cena, it's because I don't want to see Brock versus Cena again. 
We've seen it not only twice this year, but if you add the match, the first match from two years ago, three times. We need Brock to fight some new blood. If Brock, who knows if Brock will even stay with WWE past WrestleMania when his contract is up. So let's get as many different and fresh matches out of the fucking guy as we can. If they do Cena and Brock again, which I heard is the rumor, I just, I'm going to throw my hands up. I'm going to pick John Cena to win just because it, since it would piss me off, they're probably going to do that. Now, what I hope is the main event, I don't think it will be the main event, but I have it listed as the main event. Another Hell in a Cell match, Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. Please let this match be the main event. These two having a Hell in a Cell match makes too much sense. It brings me back to the days when we didn't have a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view to where it was like, oh, it's October, so I guess we need to have some Hell in a Cell matches, multiple Hell in a Cell matches. So sometimes it will be two wrestlers who are fighting for the first time in a Hell in a Cell match, and it's like, well, they don't really have much of a feud. Back in the day, it used to be like, wow, these guys have already wrestled two, maybe three times, so we need a blow-off. We need that one last epic final battle to end the feud. How many times did we see that? Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. Undertaker and Mankind. Batista and Triple H. I can go on and on. Randy Orton and Undertaker. It's, it was better that way. So this feud, at least, even though it has to happen at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, the feud itself makes the most sense to do a Hell in a Cell match. I think that Dean Ambrose will win. Mostly because they've been pushing Rollins hard lately. And, in fact, I think the last maybe two times these two have wrestled, Rollins won. He definitely won the SummerSlam match. So let's give Ambrose a big win. And let's do something with him. Let's push this guy, at least while Roman Reigns is injured. Either way, whoever wins, I can't wait for that match. I'm looking forward to it. They're going to tear the house down. They will. All in all, I'm looking forward to this pay-per-view. In fact, we have seven matches announced almost a week in advance. How many times has that happened? Usually it's like we have four matches, and then on the day of or during the show, we have a ton of bonus matches. But no, this time, we have our act together. Good job, WB. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what are some of your predictions for this show. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See ya!